right class uh, some other points that we can uh, look into is the government secret official okay this is a sort of a government privilege as well eh? not to reveal any information and this is provided in uh, official secrets at 1972 Basically, this ad is based on the English Secret Act 1911 and the purpose of the ad is to rebut any attempt by public officers who are involved in the field of spying to sell government secrets to outsiders. Uh, okay, so this, um, this uh, statute is very important in order to avoid any attempts by public officer for selling the government's a secret document to others okay what discretionary power is conferred upon administrators to determine uh, what information is considered as confidential and subsequently set aside the court's power to examine the respective documents so based on these statutes okay the power is not uh, given to court anymore eh? but the power to determine whether it is confidential or not whether it can be um, disclosed or not is given uh, to the administrators in other words given to the executive All right so based on the official secrets and 1972 section 2 stated that um, official secret is defined as any document specified in the schedule of the act. Second, any other official documents, information and material which has been classified as top secret, secret, a confidential or restricted by a minister, menteri besar or chief minister or a public officer appointed under section 2 capital b right so examples of official secrets are a documents are dealing with the decisions and deliberations of the cabinet and cabinet committees a documents dealing with the decisions and deliberations of state executive councils and their committees and then the documents concerning national a security, a defense, and international relations. So these are the examples of um, confidential uh, confidential documents or information that eh, belong to the government. Okay, what if the public office the breach of uh, the provisions in this act? Okay, there are a few penalties are given to the uh, to the accused eh? first a mandatory jail sentence at least one year but not exceeding seven years but okay take note eh? the prosecutions are rare and uh, requires the public prosecutor's prior consent so in order to prosecute the wrongdoer here we need to uh, get consent from the public prosecutor in trials for violations of the act the court may on the applications of the public prosecutor exclude all or any part of the public from the hearing so the process of hearing may be in private okay we exclude the public okay we exclude the audience okay the case in point here you may refer to the case of a Malaysian Trade Union Congress and others against the Menteri Tenaga, AI dan Komunikasi 2010. What happened in this case? Uh, this is about the documents, two documents, okay, whereby the applicants applied for a judicial review for two documents, concessions, agreements, okay, perjanjian konsesi, eh? an audit report to be revealed by the respondent because they were concerned with the increase in the water tariff and 
doctors uh, sought to assess the above mentioned documents to ascertain whether they have right to assess the clean water at a price affordable to the public was protected. So we need to determine whether these two documents are considered as official secret. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> and the High Court decided that okay, these two documents did not fall within Section 2 Capital A of the Official a Secret Act. And the contents of the documents will not cause the national security to be jeopardized, but they will only invite public discussions and criticisms towards the government. So in this case, the court, state, the court held that, yes, okay, the applicants may, uh, may, may apply for a judicial review of these two uh, documents. Okay, in other words, these two documents can be revealed by the respondent. Okay, other case, you may refer to the case of Takung Tabari against the governments of Sarawak and three others. So, in this case, eh, according to the judge, uh, uh, Justice uh, Richard Malenjum, okay, the official secrets deals mainly with the prevention of unauthorized disclosure of official secrets and thus created offences for any such infringement. So, he stated that this act, okay, official secret act is important uh, because it deals with the unauthorized uh, disclosure of uh, government secrets and then it also provides a uh, few punishments to the wrongdoers. And then the main goal of the act is, okay, according to uh, Richard Malanjum, to protect classified documents or information which by such disclosure would be detrimental to the national security or public interest. So if the document is proof, will uh, will uh, will give a threat to the uh, public disorder, to the um, to the what uh, public interest, okay, uh, to the national security, then. These documents cannot be uh, revealed to public. Okay. Okay. Here are some others law on official secrets. <clears throat> okay. Example. Eh, we have a uh, section twenty-eight, subsection five of the Legal Professions Act, nineteen seventy-six. Okay. The rule. Rule here means a scroll. Okay. Scroll uh, belong to the lawyers. Uh, normally, this scroll much as sigil. Uh, okay, we'll state date, name, admission as lawyer. Okay, and this role shall be kept uh, with the registrar of High Court. So, according to these provisions, the role shall be open to inspections without payment by any persons uh, during office hour. So, this is not considered as the official secret lah because it can be uh it can be request for further inspections based on section 19 of the registration of business act 1956 any person may on payment of a fee requires the registrar to satisfy a copy or extract any documents kept by the registrar and to issue him with a copy so me um we have a copy of the documents also eh, based on these uh, statutes okay and other laws as well okay later you may read eh? okay and last but not least the subtopic of rights to information in the digital age so this is based on the uh, our current situations okay so in Malaysia, we have Article Ten. Okay, I have explained to you uh, previously. Eh? Okay, on the Article Ten, this is the right to freedom of speech and expressions. Okay, and we also have rights to information, and it has been guaranteed in a Bill of Guarantees Number no. Seventy One to ensure that there is no censorship of the internet. However, okay, government need to balance between these rights and public interest and security. Uh, 
in example political censorship okay even we have the rights to have access to information however we however this right and public interest also must be balanced okay for example uh, several online news portals such as uh, Sarawak Report, Malaysian Chronicle and The Age has been censored on occasions because of posts that is alleged to be based on the scandals and fraud of really governments. If there is a defamation against the governments also, so this information must be censored in order to protect the public uh, interest and security. Okay, and then apart from that, we have Article 23, okay, to protect the rights to information eh, according to the Asian Human Rights Declaration, AHRD. Okay, however, even we have freedom uh, to have access to information, okay, we also have other laws, okay, that may restrict of our freedom of expression. Okay, for example, we have uh, PPPA stand for Printing Presses and Publications Act 1984, uh, whereby uh, this statute may restrict the use of digital publications, for example, Zunar's cartoon in digital formats, uh, because these cartoons uh, have uh, involved the political issue. Okay, they try to... Um, they try to uh, defame the ruling governments. Okay, and then we have uh, the Security Offences Special Measures Act 2013, also stand as a source mark. They authorize phone taping and communications powers to the governments and also electronic anchor to track the free detainees of preventions of terrorism at Ota. Okay, so with civilians by the governments, an introduction to measures on self-defense against a civilians is very much needed, but it is as yet to be truly discussed because this is uh, quite new, eh? 2013. Okay, and last but not least, we have a Personal Data Protection Act 2013. Okay, um, however, okay, this act, this statute is also lack of control of personal data protection because this is not cover the uh, government's agency eh? because it focuses on the private sector service providers. Okay, data is the type of product which can be easily sold to the third party. Uh, this is where, for example, we we okay we provide our personal information in the websites okay in certain websites so whether uh, the website will protect our personal information so before you give the information over the internet you must check first okay the website whether uh, our personal data will be protected or not by uh, personal data protection at 2013 Okay, this is very important. Eh? Alright, so basically uh, freedom of information is the right uh, to access information held by all peoples. Okay, and it is important uh, lies in the fact that it is the basis of citizens' democratic participation. So in Malaysia, this becomes a part of our fundamental rights. Okay, however, there is still need uh, to balance right between a uh, total access to information and uh, to maintain the security of the country we need to consider as well the uh, if there is a threat to public security okay, public disorder right so if you have any questions please ask me okay, as soon as possible all right guys thank you for your uh, cooperation Assalamualaikum.